the standard view is, is the name suggests the most common and standard view to all. So if in the report you go to standard view, you will find it as the first one. There's a couple of settings. The first one is on the process count. You can set synchronous, asynchronous, and on. This is mainly responsible for how the number of records is determined. It's a performance criteria. The other thing you can set in general is the records per page, so how many records you want to show on one page. Then in addition to the selection criteria and the manipulation tab you had before, you can set a couple of things. First of all, rename the field to whatever you think is appropriate. You have the option to display certain fields, so no means not displayed, yes, it is displayed. Hidden, it is displayed, and also not an option. So for example, if I drag the ID over, because I need it for some internal purposes and then mark it to hidden, it's not going to be able to be selected or show that when we look at the report afterwards. The second field is for the link. So you can put certain fields and define them as links. For example, the last name is from the user and also an opportunity to name the link. Next is for sort and the sort sequence. Now you can sort the report. For example, you want to first sort descending. That's where the sequence comes in. And then in the second, ascending by the username. The other thing you can then do is say, okay, you can define fields as sortable. And other fields that are not sortable. So by default, this will be now sorted by these two criteria, but we can then resort by the amount of fields. With this, for the width of the column, but you can change this interactively, that's much easier. And then in some cases, you want to set the override type and the override alignment. Internally, Kimporter tries to determine based on the field how it should be rendered as which type and also what the alignment should be. In some cases, you might want to override that. For example, let's say the sales stage, we want to align center. So if we save this, let's look at what we created. So we have one sorted by its close quarter descending, then by the name ascending. We have the links on the opportunity. So if I click here, I get a new window popping up with the opportunity. I go back in the tab. If I click on the username, of course the record for the user opens. Going back to the top. The other thing is you can see if you want to select certain fields, those that are displayed are automatically ticked. The ID we have set as hidden, so the user cannot change it. The other way is the user can basically change the same. If you compare on this field, sorting is disabled. This field is set to sortable, so we can change the sorting order and sort by the amount. And we can go back and sort by the close quarter. The other nice thing you can do in regards to the width, if you want to, for example, shift the fields around. If you have edit rights, you can just change that and then save. If you then go to edit the report again, what it saves is not only the width of the columns, but also which are displayed and which are not displayed. So basically you'll see we set certain ones to display no, other ones to yes, based on how we rearrange this stuff. So a very basic and most likely the most basic view we have.